Hey everyone, welcome back to another Unbiased Magic Review. I hope you're having a great Halloween. Today, we're gonna to be checking out a live lecture by Lu Chen. A figure in the world of magic whose TV shows have been seen by more than one billion viewers throughout Asia. And in this Penguin Live lecture, filmed at the prestigious Magic Circle in London, wow. he shares his thoughts and experiences from his incredibly successful career. Plus, he performs and teaches some remarkable routines that demonstrate his latest ideas and performance philosophies beginning with his version of the venerable tossed out deck where he reveals the first four cards one at a time by using a truly weird ability and clean your finger and clean your finger great mm. <laughs> the nine of time and your ace of time please sit down thank you very much and now that he's warmed up he's able to name all the rest of the thought of cards plus a pin number and a random animal from someone's mind. Six of heart, the pin number is 1972, the animal is tiger. Then, after nailing a couple more cards without even using the deck, he shows that the last card thought of has been predicted from the very start. Uh, so what the card you, you, you are thinking of? Two of lions. Two of... You won't believe that, you won't believe that because I have put this envelope here, and this is my dream. Two of diamonds. Thank you very much. Thank you. To top things off, he shows an unbelievable card trick designed to be a magician fooler, and it definitely is. It fooled me. So check this out. While he's blindfolded and his back is turned, a randomly chosen card is placed anywhere in the deck. Cut the deck. Mm -hmm. Cut it again. Sure. Again, if you don't want, don't cut. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to tell you whether or not I'm going to cut it, so uh, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. <laughs> okay. And I put it in anywhere. Yeah. And now, without looking at all, he locates the selected card. What the card you choose? Three of clubs. You three of clubs? <laughs> Honestly, that's the three of clubs. You got it. And that's just the beginning. The same idea is repeated with someone else from the audience choosing and losing a card. Now, nobody else knows what it is, but this time, Lu Chen doesn't even touch the cards. Instead, he instructs me to perform a series of card moves ending with a single card in my hand. And there's no way it could be the selected card, yet, unbelievably, it is. Which card do you remember? Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. Show him the card. Is that Seven of Cups? It is. And yes, he reveals how to do it for the first time ever, right here at Penguin Live. Hi, I'm Liu Chen. Please join me at Penguin Live. Okay, so now you saw the preview. This was a live lecture that was filmed at the Magic Circle in London. This was hosted by Dan Harlan and put out by Penguin Magic uh, this month. The cost is $40 and you're gonna get a lecture that's two and a half hours long by Lu Chen, famous Taiwanese magician. If you're not familiar with Lu Chen, then you're probably not a magician yourself. You can find many of his performances on Chinese TV on YouTube. And if I remember correctly, the last time he put out a magic product was about five years ago. He put out a couple of uh, downloads. There was one that I picked up. It was called Slow and Ring. It was an interesting download. Um, it was like a open prediction card effect and like a, a ring vanish. It was pretty good. Um, on this uh, live lecture that they put out this month, basically it is a bunch of theory, philosophies, life experiences, ideas behind the magic of Lu Chen um, and ideas about how he's evolved as a performer. And then he goes over, he performs and goes over three effects. So the advertising on Penguin Magic is pretty accurate this time. I have to tell you guys, it really is pretty accurate. Uh, the first 17 minutes of the lecture, he just talks about how he's evolved as an artist, how he's gone from like hardcore manipulation, sleight of hand artist to now focusing more on things like mentalism um, and how he's really shaped his own magic on how he's gotten older and stuff. And um, so that's like the first 17 minutes. And then he goes, he performs and goes over the tossed out deck. Now, 
As Penguin Magic advertises there, his tossed out deck is a whole culmination of effects in one because it's not just the tossed out deck. First off, he performs the tossed out deck for a larger, for a large group of people. I mean, he's getting like 12 people involved. And then he's also revealing a pin number, a thought of animal, and then there's a prediction at the very end. And so it's very interesting because he's actually combining a lot of different ideas there. His presentation of the effect is very different. I don't know if many people would even try to do something similar. Um, his presentation is, is odd because he takes a glass of wine and he has people clean their finger with an alcohol swab and then stick their finger in his glass of wine. And then he tastes the wine and he tells them the thought of card. The idea behind it is interesting. Practically, it's kind of nasty. <laughs> I would never do it myself, but in his own hands, it looks interesting. Um, it did remind me a little bit of Vinny Grasso's performance on Fool Us when he was naked and he was tasting the cards when he was blindfolded. And so it was kind of similar to that in, in terms of the presentation. I think the real value of his tossed out deck uh, performance is really watching how he's performing for a large group of people and getting a large group of people involved. He's getting like 12 people involved and also the, the layering of the method is great because the method, he's using a method that's, it's a combination of methods, um, definitely um, by Luke Germay. Um, he's also uh, by Cody Fisher. So there's a layering of methods there. You may be disappointed when they go to the explanation because he just superficially goes over uh, Luke Germay's um, tossed out deck which you're not gonna really be able to put it together based on the explanation that you, they give you. You'll have an idea of the method, but you won't be able to put it together. And in fact, if you like that, I would recommend you pick up Luke Germay's DVD set called Germay's Mind, because that's where you'll actually learn how to put it together Luke Germay's tossed out deck, which is exactly what he uses here. But he also does use ideas uh, from Gazzo, as well as Cody Fisher um, for the presentation in getting more people involved. Um, Cause in Luke Germay in his DVD set, he doesn't use that many spectators when he performs it for them. Now, in terms of the pin revelation and the animal revelation, you're gonna be very disappointed on the method because basically the explanation is they say it's just pre-show. So that's kind of, um, you know, a disappointment. The actual kicker prediction at the end, it's interesting and it may be something you may wanna to add to your own tossed out deck if you do that. So that's definitely something to think about. Um, so overall, I thought the real value of it was just watching the performance, watching the ideas he has of taking the tossed out deck and making the effect into something bigger than it, and than it is just in, in general. Um, so that was really uh, interesting in that way. But in terms of learning it and learning the method, you're not really gonna get a lot out of it from this lecture, so that may be a big disappointment for some people. Uh, then he goes into talking about mentalism, talking about what spectators think when they leave the show and, and how to try to improve your effects so that way when people think back to what they saw, the effect plays bigger in their mind and stuff like that. Um, he then goes into an add a number routine, is the second routine he goes over, and there, again, uh, the presentation's pretty standard. He has kind of like a prediction kicker at the end, which I've seen a lot of people do with add a number type effects. I will tell you guys, the method that he uses for add a number, I didn't like at all. And you'll be disappointed because he doesn't, even though he exposes it and shows it to you, you don't really learn the mechanics of how he's doing it. And he just kind of refers you to Steve Pellegrino's books on add a number because Steve Pellegrino put out an ebook on add a number and he kind of just refers you to it. If you have that, then you'll have the exact method and exactly how to do it. If you're interested in that method, personally, I would tell you guys to stay away from that method because add a number routine is a routine that it looks completely impossible and unless it's very, very hands off, it's not gonna be believable. And the Lu Chen handling that he goes over, it's not very hands off because you know, the pad never leaves his hands. So I don't really like his handling. I would recommend that you guys pick up the super mental pad. Um, I like add a number and I do it and I've experimented with lots of different methods. 
and I like the super mental pad, which I should just do a review on this alone because with this, the effect becomes very hands off, which is what you need. And it's the type of effect where the spectators have to be able to verify everything multiple times in their own hands. Otherwise they're not going to believe that it's real because it, it does fit under the too perfect theory where it's just too much. It's too perfect that you could simply predict the outcome of random numbers that are generated that are added together. You know, that looks impossible. And so you need something like this to make it real believable, um, especially if this is something that you want to present uh, for a large group of people. So I would recommend you check, you pick up the super mental pad. This is what it is. Um, maybe I'll do a review on this if there's interest. Um, but that's something that was another kind of disappointment. The last effect that he goes over in the lecture is called blindfolded. And personally, I thought it was the best effect that he presents and goes over. And Dan Harlan was very impressed. He actually used the words, he says that his mind was blown by it. So the blindfolded effect is a very, very simple effect to understand. He's blindfolded with tape by Dan Harlan and he, Dan Harlan really totally puts the tape all over his face. And then a deck of cards is introduced and it's cut a bunch of times. Dan Harlan selects a card and puts it into the middle of the deck somewhere. And then uh, Lu Chen goes through the cards over his head while he's blindfolded and he pulls out the card is basically what it is. Then the effect is repeated in even a more impossible way by bringing a spectator on stage. The spectator does the same thing. They, ra they randomly, they, they cut the deck they look at a card and they stick it in the middle of the deck. And now this time, Lu Chen doesn't touch the cards. He hands them, the, he gives them to the Dan Harlan, and, he, and then he instructs Dan Harlan how to go through the deck and find the selection. It looks totally impossible. And it's the kind of effect that if you do any kind of magic, like on stage or, or parlor magic for a, a group of people, this is the kind of effect you probably would be interested in because it really is impressive. It looks extremely impossible and it was really designed more for, to fool magicians than lay people but yet I think that it's definitely workable for just lay people it definitely will blow their minds too um, and it's because the effect relies on multiple principles which is I always love that any effect that's got a layering of principles because then it's really impossible to backtrack and figure out what's going on exactly how this was done um, so definitely an effect you would like. Personally, I liked it the best. I think that it's definitely, this effect alone is probably worth the price of the whole lecture. But the value of the lecture is really listening to Lu Chen, his thoughts on magic, the theory, um, and um, just the, the philosophy behind it, his life experiences. That's really what, what you should look for if you wanna pick this up. This is the kind of lecture if you're looking for something different, if you're, if you're looking for something that's not just uh, effect, explanation, effect explanation. If you're looking for something that's a little bit deeper, then I would say definitely pick this up. It's definitely worth it in that way. If you're wondering if it's really worth the money, I will tell you just for the last effect, it's worth it. And especially because the explanation is great. They go into a lot of detail on the explanation, unlike the other two effects that they just kind of superficially go over the method. Here, Dan Harlan goes over with him in detail exactly how this is done. So that way you'll be able to perform it yourself um, without any difficulty. Um, so definitely I think the lecture was worth it. Um, and I hope that uh, you guys find this useful and I've given you a heads up on what exactly you would expect if you pick this up. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review. And um, if there's anything that you guys are interested in having me review, just let me know. I don't think there's anything else left to say about the Lu Chen uh, lecture. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next review.